Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Ladies and gentlemen, excellencies, I would like to welcome you all to the agreements and MOU signing and exchanging ceremony between the Islamic Republic of Pakistan and Republic of Azerbaijan. Today, a total of 15 agreements and MOUs would be exchanged. First of all, to exchange the Memorandum of Understanding on Cooperation in Council Affairs between the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan and the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Azerbaijan, I would like to invite the Honorable Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan, His Excellency Senator Muhammad Isaq Da, and the Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Azerbaijan, His Excellency Mr. Samir Sharifo. Now to exchange the agreement between the Government of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan and Government of the Republic of Azerbaijan on transit trade, I would like to invite the Federal Minister for Commerce of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan, His Excellency Mr. Jam Kamal Khan, and the Minister of Digital Development and Transport of the Republic of Azerbaijan, His Excellency Mr. Rashid Nabiye. Now to exchange the agreement between the government of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan and the government of the Republic of Azerbaijan on preferential trade, I would like to invite again the Federal Minister for Commerce of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan, His Excellency Mr. Jam Kamal Khan, and the Deputy Minister of Economy of the Republic of Azerbaijan, His Excellency Mr. Sahib Mamadov. Now to exchange the memorandum of understanding between the Ministry of Privatization of Pakistan and the Ministry of Economy of the Republic of Azerbaijan in the field of privatization of state property. I would like to invite the Minister of Privatization of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan, His Excellency Mr. Abdul Alim Khan and the Deputy Minister of Economy of the Republic of Azerbaijan, His Excellency Mr. Sahib Mamadov. Now to exchange the memorandum of cooperation between the Ministry of Law and Justice of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan and the Ministry of Justice of the Republic of Azerbaijan, I would like to invite the Federal Minister of Law and Justice of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan, His Excellency Senator Azam Nazir Tarar, and Minister of Defense Industry of the Republic of Azerbaijan, His Excellency Mr. Vugar Mustafaev. Now to exchange the Memorandum of Understanding on Cooperation in the Field of Mineral Resources and Geology between Government of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan and Government of the Republic of Azerbaijan, I would like to invite the Minister for Petroleum of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan, His Excellency, Mr. Musaddiq Masood Malik, and Minister of Energy of the Republic of Azerbaijan, His Excellency, Mr. Parvez Shahbazov. Now to exchange the culture exchange program for the years 2024-29 between the National Heritage and Culture Division of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan and Government of the Republic of Azerbaijan, I would like to invite the Federal Minister for National Heritage and Culture of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan, His Excellency, Mr. Ataullah Tarar, and Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Azerbaijan, His Excellency, Mr. Samir Sharifo. Now to exchange the Memorandum of Understanding on Cooperation in the Field of Information and Communication Technologies between Ministry of Information Technology and Telecommunications of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan and the Ministry of Digital Development and Transport of the Republic of Azerbaijan, I would like to invite the Minister of State, IT and Telecommunications of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan, Her Excellency, Ms. Shaza Fatima Khwaja, and the Minister of Digital Development and Transport of the Republic of Azerbaijan, His Excellency, Mr. Rashad Nabiyev. Now to exchange the Memorandum of Understanding on cooperation between the Pakistan Television Corporation Limited and the Azerbaijan Television and Radio Broadcasting Closed Joint Stock Company, 
I would like to invite the Secretary, Ministry of Information and Broadcasting and Chairperson Pakistan Television Corporation, Her Excellency, Ms. Shahira Shahid, and the Ambassador of the Republic of Azerbaijan to Pakistan, His Excellency, Mr. Khazar Farhadov. Now to exchange the agreement for scientific and technical cooperation between the government of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan and the government of the Republic of Azerbaijan, I would like to invite the Secretary, Ministry of Science and Technology of Islamic Republic of Pakistan, His Excellency, Mr. Ali Tahir, and Minister of Digital Development and Transport of the Republic of Azerbaijan, His Excellency, Mr. Rashid Nabiyev. <laughs> now to exchange the agreement on cooperation in the field of tourism between the government of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan and the Republic of Azerbaijan, I would like to invite Secretary, Ministry of Interprovincial Coordination, His Excellency Mr. Nadeem Irshad Khiani of Islamic Republic of Pakistan and the Minister of Defense Industry of the Republic of Azerbaijan, His Excellency Mr. Vugar Mustafayev. Now to exchange the air services agreement between the government of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan and the government of the Republic of Azerbaijan, I would like to invite the Secretary of Aviation, His Excellency Mr. Saif Anjum, and the Minister of Digital Development and Transport of the Republic of Azerbaijan, His Excellency Mr. Rashid Nabiyev. <laughs> now to exchange the Memorandum of Understanding on establishment of twinning links between the city of Baku and the city of Islamabad, I would like to invite the Chairman Capital Development Authority Mr. Muhammad Ali Randhawa and the head of Baku City Executive Power, Mr. Elder Azizov. <laughs> now to ex exchange the memorandum of understanding between small and medium enterprises, Development Authority of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan, and Small and Medium Business Development Agency of the Republic of Azerbaijan, I would like to invite the Chief Executive Officer Samida, Mr. Sukrat Aman Rana, and the Deputy Minister of Economy of the Government of the Republic of Azerbaijan, His Excellency Mr. Sahib Mamadov. <laughs> and at the last, to exchange the Memorandum of Understanding on Cooperation in the Field of Literature and Science between Pakistan Academy of Letters and the Institute of Literature, named after Nizami Ganjavi of Azerbaijan, National Academy of Sciences. I would like to invite the chairperson, Pakistan Academy of Letters, Professor Dr. Najiba Arif, and the ambassador of Azerbaijan to Pakistan, His Excellency Mr. Khazar Farhadov. Now I would request the Honorable Prime Minister of Pakistan, His Excellency Mr. Muhammad Shahbaz Sharif to please deliver a statement to the press on this occasion. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. My very dear brother, President Elam Aliyev, of uh, <clears throat> Azerbaijan and very honorable members of uh, Azri delegation, honorable members of Pakistan delegation, ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu Alaikum. My dear brother, it's really a great pleasure and honor to welcome you to Pakistan and sparing time from your very valuable schedule to visit your brotherly country. Ever since you have landed here, people of Pakistan in the four nook and corner are extremely happy to see you on television screens and on social media that a uh, genuine friend and a real brother is visiting his brotherly country. I remember vividly, Mr. President, when you invited me to Azerbaijan back in 2023. 
I still carry those very fond memories of your generosity and very warm hospitality. And I still remember at lunch that uh, warm naan, you call it roti. Uh, I wish I can have it again. But for that, I'll have to visit your great country again coming November, inshallah. Today, Your Excellency, we had uh, a very productive one-on-one uh, uh, -on -one meeting. And then uh, our uh, meetings with our uh, teams. And I'm very satisfied uh, that these discussions were based on mutual trust and mutual confidence and this uh, urge and this uh, unwavering commitment that both the countries have to move forward and touch higher levels of achievement in the field of uh, trade, which is still at a minuscule level, uh, around uh, less than hundred million dollars and uh, does not reflect the strength of our friendship and brotherhood in the field of uh, uh, joint investments, joint collaboration in areas which are mutually beneficial. Most definitely our uh, relations span over decades and the kind of this uh, genuine relationship between the two countries, as I said earlier on, we speak uh, different languages. We speak Urdu, you speak uh, Azari or Turkic, and uh, uh, we live uh, you know, far away. But believe me, and you will also endorse this uh, statement that our hearts beat together. We speak together, although in different languages. We think together, and we stand together on all issues pertaining to our bilateral relations and multilateral relations. Pakistan has always supported your stand on Karabakh and your victory is uh, an example that how justice and fair play you know really comes out in a resounding fashion and Pakistan has always stood by your cause over these uh, decades and similarly, my very dear brother, you have always supported the cause of Kashmiris. Those uh, millions of people who have uh, paid huge sacrifices more than seven decades to uh, achieve their right of self-determination as per UN Security Council resolutions. And uh, Azerbaijan has been one friendly country, brotherly country, along with other countries in the Middle East, Turkey, who have stood by the cause of Kashmir. And my dear brother, I recall with great pleasure your visit in 2017 during the tenure of my elder brother, Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif. And history is repeating itself. That today you are visiting Pakistan, and Nawaz Sharif's younger brother is uh, receiving you along with the government of Pakistan and the people of Pakistan. In today's in depth conversation, we have agreed to enhance our bilateral trade. We've also discussed areas of uh, joint 
cooperation and joint investments. And uh, if I may say with your permission, Brother President, that we have discussed an initial figure of $2 billion investments in areas of uh, mutual beneficial projects. For that, we had initial discussion today. And tomorrow, a formal discussion will take place uh, with the, uh, the teams of the two countries. And then, hopefully, when I will undertake my visit to your great country coming November, by then, hopefully, both sides would be ready to ink agreements worth $2 billion to start with. And inshallah, there is great potential on both sides to really enhance uh, these figures to uh, uh, billions of dollars in years to come. And I'm sure both sides, particularly Pakistani side, would uh, work uh, over time to catch up with the speed of uh, uh, our brotherly country, um, Azerbaijan's speed, so that we can actually you know, materialize this discussion into genuine action. My dear brother, finally I would like to convey my best wishes to you and your government as you prepare to host the COP 29 in Baku. COP 29 will be a significant international event for all developing countries, including Pakistan. We are very confident that under your wise and sagacious stewardship, inshallah, COP 29 will deliver on the climate change related issues of developing countries like Pakistan. My very dear brother, I once again would like to thank you for your visit to Pakistan and reiterate your Excellency's visit would be a watershed moment in our brotherly relations. It will be truly harbinger of a new era of a higher level of cooperation between our two countries. And uh, I would like to mention here that you just a while ago presented a beautification plan of Islamabad, which has been uh, prepared by one of your experts sitting here, our brother over there. And uh, would you want to show your face and g give him a big hand? He has presented this beautification plan. I used to copy some uh, such plans uh, from Istanbul and uh, you know, emulate here. Now we are copying Baku. And uh, his team would be coming soon uh, to visit uh, Islamabad. And the Minister Interior is sitting here, who's your minister in waiting also, and the uh, chairman. CDA, Ali, kindly make best use of this opportunity and convert Islamabad uh, like Baku. And that day, we will give you public recognition, inshallah. I would like to thank you once again and would like to request you to come to the podium for your views. Thank you. Dear Prime Minister, dear brother, first of all, once again, thank you for invitation. It's a big honor and privilege to visit your beautiful country once again. When we just met, one of the first things I asked my dear brother was to convey my best greetings and respect to my brother, Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif, whom I respect very much and whom I met here in this building uh, seven years ago, and now I want in front of the cameras also express my respect 
to our great brother. And it is a symbolic that I am visiting Pakistan after seven years when the brother of my brother is now the prime minister. So our brotherhood, our brotherhood is based on deep feelings between our peoples towards each other, which go back to uh, centuries. Pakistanis who c come to Azerbaijan and now in recent uh, years more and more, we just discussed that we have already direct flights between Baku and Islamabad, Baku and Karachi, Baku and Lahore. So those people from Pakistan, when they come to uh, old city and see Karwan Sarai, which is called Multan, they understand how connected we've been throughout the centuries, really. This connection is a big asset. And today, brotherly relations between Pakistan and Azerbaijan are based on this foundation. We are brothers, we are friends, we support each other on every issue, on every international case, in every international institution. When it comes to uh, the case which we introduce, our brothers support us, and the same vice versa. Our straightforward uh, support on the issue of Jammu and Kashmir is our commitment to our brotherhood and also, <laughs> and also our respect to international law. The rights of Kashmiris are ignored and violated for decades. United Nations Security Council resolutions clearly indicate how this issue must be resolved. But unfortunately, United Nations Security Council resolutions have no mechanism of implementation. But we, as brothers and friends, will always stand side by side with you, with our brothers in Kashmir, with international law, with justice, and I am sure justice will prevail. We uh, know very well, all the people of Azerbaijan, that during the times of occupation, Pakistan was one of several countries which always stood side by side with us. And during the uh, Second Karabakh War, the Patriotic War, political support, straightforward statements from high-ranking officials of Pakistan supporting Azerbaijan's just position gave us additional power and, uh, and strength. Pakistan is the country which did not establish diplomatic relations with Armenia because of occupation. And when we were celebrating our victory, uh, November 2020, there have been flags of Azerbaijan, Pakistan, and Turkey in the hands of uh, our people. So this is something which makes our relations unique. And today what we discussed in order to um, fill these relations with uh, practical projects also is based on this foundation. We gave all the necessary instructions to members of our uh, cabinet of ministers. Uh, they already are in contact. Tomorrow morning they will meet again before uh, we meet again with my dear brothers in order to review and to analyze the projects. The initial amount of uh, investments which we are planning to accumulate, as my brother mentioned, is around two billion US dollars. We already <laughs> reviewed several projects in the area of uh, energy, infrastructure, connectivity, and many other, including uh, defense industry, where we are cooperating very successful. So we will build a strong partnership, not only on political level, which we already have, but on economic level, trade, investments. So look how many documents today have been signed and we witnessed the exchange of those documents. It took a lot of time just to, to exchange. So you can imagine how much time it took to prepare these documents. And we will, based on that, increase definitely the level of mutual trade. 
One of them I'd like especially mention, it's a document on preferential trade. We identified as an initial stage nine positions where we have preferential trade format, but this is only the beginning. Uh, and of course, a big responsibility will be on that person whom my brother uh, asked to stand up so that everybody in Islamabad knows him. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a big responsibility and a big honor to participate, please sit down, in this uh, renovation. I can tell you that I already, upon the request from my brother, sent him and his team. They've been here for quite a while. They prepared the first version of the project which we submitted uh, to dear Prime Minister they will look, they will review, and if they approve it, he will come with his team immediately and uh, do everything in order to make the beautiful city even more beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, my brother, for your brotherhood. Thank you for your support. Your visit last year to Azerbaijan, just a year ago in June, was a kind of a uh, breakthrough, I would say. We always supported each other, we always cooperated, but now we engage in practical elements of trade, investments, industry, energy, transportation, corridors of transportation. So all that is our plans and all our plans will be implemented. So once again, Thank you for hospitality, thank you for invitation, and best wishes to the brotherly people of Pakistan. Thank you.